Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Did we catch one over there? We are out here as part of my lab's field work, looking at marmots that live in urban areas to those that live in more rural areas. Particularly, we're looking at yellow-bellied marmots. And Spokane is pretty unique in that yellow-bellied marmots live throughout the entire town. Scientists are looking at animals and plants that tend to do really well in urban environments and then actually comparing that those organisms to organisms that don't do so well. Okay. The first thing we do is Perfect. we take a walk around and try and see burrows. We put down a trap near that entrance and we bait the trap with apples, dandelion leaves and actually ramen noodles to lure the marmots in. Once we catch a marmot, then we take a, a number of six, measurements six, from it. Six. And one of the ways that we can indirectly measure their stress is by looking yep. at okay. um, a group of hormones called the glucocorticoids. And looking at these glucocorticoids, you would predict that um, those the levels of glucocorticoids would be higher in environments that the marmots actually find more stressful or more dangerous and lower in environments that they find less stressful. In coming into this project, I had actually hypothesized that the urban environment would be more stressful and that this population in Spokane sort of throws that prediction to the wind. These marmots potentially have actually become urban adapters. The big goal for this project is helping everyone understand how organisms can acclimate and even adapt to urban environments. More and more landscape is becoming urbanized and how can we actually make our urban environments more amenable to animals that have been here much longer than we have, that we've sort of taken over the environment from. Oh, there you go. Whenever you're ready. He was ready. <laughs> there she goes. Okay.